This is one of those things your son. Not a lot scares Mark Henry, which isn't surprising considering he's nicknamed the world's strongest man. Man, I don't live in fear. I've been a world champion in three sports that have nothing to do with each other. But like everyone else, the coronavirus pandemic has given him pause. I've been very cautious uh, because I have a family. I don't want my family to be sick, but I'm not going to stop being a coach. And until the city or state government or national government tells me to stop, we're going to work. Mark Henry, the world's strongest man. That's the same mindset as his employer, WWE. After retiring from pro wrestling in 2017, Henry transitioned to a dual role of ambassador and talent development with the organization. And while the rest of the sports world has come to a full stop, the WWE is still churning out new content, albeit in empty arenas, a likely preview of the immediate future of sports. Look at that. Oh. It's the type of entertainment that you don't really need. Um, a large crowd for you just need a couple of people to believe the WWE which has its training facility in Florida was deemed an essential business by Governor Ron DeSantis earlier this month counters with a kick to the face allowing it to continue holding events so long as the fans stay away a decision that owner and CEO Vince McMahon is controversially taking advantage of Vince is not doing this because of arrogance or because of money all he does is try to make it good for the fans to give somebody something to think about other than death and destruction. With league commissioners and fans alike desperate for sports to return, the WWE could serve as a blueprint for how it can be done. I'm curious to see what baseball is going to do. I'm curious to see what the NBA and the NFL are going to do. As is the rest of the sports world. But until we find out, the man. there's always the squared circle. Chris Tavares, KXAN News.